Hi guys, so I thought I would do a quick video for you guys about the level of consciousness in children. Grab your piece of paper and let's go. Hello and welcome to MK's Medical Review Series. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in depth. Today we're going to look at the level of consciousness in children. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon to be receiving notifications of such videos every time I post. Drop a like, drop a comment to Zambia and beyond. Let's go. Remember that consciousness is pretty much a state of being aware of and responsive to one's surrounding one's environment and remember that in an adult we're going to be using our Glasgow coma scale and the AVPU scale is also going to be using adults as a quick assessment now remember that it's actually quite challenging to use the adult Glasgow coma scale in a pediatric patient and especially pediatric patients that are less than five years as some of the of course the children cannot talk at a certain age and they cannot follow commands at a certain age so the skills that we actually use in pediatric include the pediatric Glasgow coma scale, which is a modified version of the Glasgow coma scale, a Blantyre coma scale, which is used specifically for malaria, level of consciousness in malaria, severe malaria or cerebral malaria. And of course, we do use the AVPU scale rarely, but it hasn't yet been fully instituted in the pediatric population. So I'll begin with the pediatric Glasgow coma scale. So remember that this is actually an equivalent to the Glasgow coma scale in adults and it's going to be used to level to measure the level of consciousness in children. It is used to measure the level of consciousness in children below the age of two. It can also be used in children that are above the age of two, and it can be used in emergency medical services. Now remember that it also has three parameters just like the GCS, eye opening, verbal response, motor response. The maximum score one can get is 15 out of 15, where they're fully awake and they're aware and the lowest score that they get is a three where they're in deep coma or they're dead. So that's the pediatric Glasgow coma scale. We can add a suffix of a T to indicate whether the patient is actually intubated or they are not. Now, what are the indications of doing a pediatric Glasgow coma scale? So if an infant has head trauma or altered mental status or neurological abnormalities, we can use it in initial as well as serious assessments of level of consciousness in a child. Now, what are the parameters? We also have the eye opening, verbal response, and best motor response. Now, best uh, eye, res eye opening response is pretty much scored with a maximum of four. Four out of four if they open their eyes spontaneously. Three out of four if they open their eyes in response to speech or shouting. Two out of four if they open their eyes in response to pain. And one if there's no eye opening or no response at all. The verbal response is out of five. Five if they are oriented and converse, if they are able to talk. You can give them a five if they are able to smile or if they're oriented to the sounds or these appropriate words that they can say or they follow objects or they are able to interact with the environment or they cry appropriately. We give them a score of four if they're disoriented and they converse or if they are giving inappropriate words or they are crying but they are consolable. Then inappropriate interactions, we also give them four. Then we give them a score of three out of five if there's an inappropriate words, cries, screams, or even if there's inconsistently inconsolable crying or sometimes even moaning. We give them a score of two if there's incomprehensible sounds, inconsolable crying, agitation, and even some grunting. Then of course one if there's no verbal response. Then the motor is scored out of six. We give the score of six if the infants move spontaneously or purposefully or they obey commands. Sometimes in children that are below the age of one, we don't actually score them out of six. So usually their, their scoring system starts from 14 as opposed to 15. Then of course we give them a score of five if it's an infant that withdraws from touch or localized pain. Four if the infant withdraws from pain or this flexion withdrawal. Three, if there's abnormal flexion to pain for an infant, so that's a decorticate response. And two, if there's extension to pain, which is pretty much a disarebrate response. One, if there's no motor response. So you add the best score and you score it out of 15. Rather, 15 and then the other one who doesn't have the score of six, we score them out of 14. 
then the severity if there is a brain injury if they score 13 or higher that's mild brain injury 9 10 11 and 12 that's moderate anything 8 and below is severe and obviously the child will be unconscious then we also look at the Blantyre Coma Scale, which is pretty much a modified version of the Pediatric Glasgow Coma Scale. It was designed actually to assess the level of consciousness in malarial patients. Now, this was designed by two guys, so Terry and Malcolm in the year 1987. So it was named after the city in Malawi that's Blantyre. So the score is actually assigned from a minimum of zero to a maximum of five. And this is how you grade the parameters. Eye movements is scored out of one, so one if they're able to watch or follow, zero if they fail to watch or follow. Then verbal response, two if there's a cry appropriately with pain or if verbal if they verbally, if they speak, they are able to voice out that they're in pain. One if they moan or there's an abnormal cry with pain, zero if there's no vocal response. Then the motor response is scored out of two. So two if they're able to localize pain, so the patient's ability to remove the stimuli. One if they withdraw their limbs from painful stimulus. Zero if there's no response or inappropriate response to any stimulus. Then of course we have the AVPU scale, which is pretty much very, very simple. A is for alert, V is for verbal, which is often equivalent. If, if you give a score of V, it means that someone at least is at 8. So anything less than 8, then it would be corresponding to P, uh, which is a response to pain, and U, which is unresponsive. So now this scale is going to be used, has actually not been used in a very large pediatric population. So I wouldn't really advise you to actually use this in a pediatric population. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned a little bit about level of consciousness in children. If you did, consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification icon to be receiving notifications of such videos every time I post. Consider subscribing. Hit a like button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.